Hey everyone, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at three dividend stocks that score a 10 out of 10. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at three strong buy dividend stocks that all score a perfect 10 on the tip rank smart score. That looks at eight unique different factors and measures a stock's likelihood to outperform the overall market. We found today's companies using the tip ranks stock screener. Found underneath research tools over on the tip ranks website, I wanted a 10 out of 10 on the smart score, a strong buy consensus from analysts, and a high dividend yield above two and a half percent. That narrowed down our list here. So today we're gonna to take a closer look at those three dividend stocks, what it is that they do, and what those analysts are predicting for the stock's future. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Now let's get right into our 10 out of 10 dividend stocks. First on our list today is a company called Lazard. They trade under the ticker LAZ, currently priced above $45 per share. They've climbed 44% in the past year, gaining 15% in the last three months. They come out with a 10 out of 10 smart score, with increased hedge fund activity going up by 2.2 million shares in the last quarter, and very positive crowd wisdom, with the number of portfolios holding the LAZ stock increasing by 15% in the last 30 days. Lazard is a global asset manager with offices around the world. Founded back in 1848, the firm offers advice and investment solutions to clients. They are one of the world's leading advisors on mergers, acquisitions, divestitures, and related strategic matters. Many of the world's leading investors, from individuals to institutions, have entrusted them with approximately $247 billion in assets and rely on them to provide world-class investment solutions and advice. They began paying out a dividend back in 2009 and have been steadily increasing it over the years. Their current quarterly dividend is 50 cents per share for a dividend yield of 4.41%. They shared their Q2 earnings report back on July 25th, where the company came out with both an earnings and revenue beat. For their second quarter, they reported earnings per share of 52 cents, beating estimates by 17 cents per share. Revenue for the quarter came in at 685 million, also beating expectations, and their financial advisory sector reported record first half adjusted net revenue of 855 million. The company said they're investing in talent firm-wide to help support long-term growth trajectory. One analyst reiterating their buy rating following that earnings report came from Morgan Stanley. They said one key element supporting their optimistic outlook was Lazard reporting an increase in their assets under management. This growth was particularly noteworthy considering the net outflows of $3.6 billion as it was mitigated by a favorable market impact and positive forward exchange influences. The Lazard stock does just have four current analyst ratings, but they do all come in with unanimous buys. That strong buy rating comes with an average price target of $54.75 for an upside potential of over 19.5%. Looking at those ratings down below, fairly tightly grouped here on the low end, we're at $52 from JMP Securities with an upside of over 13% and two high-end price targets at $56 for an upside of 22%. For our second dividend stock, we're taking a look at Cisco. They trade under the ticker SYY, priced at $75.51. Their stock has climbed 9% overall in the past year, and over the last three months is fairly flat, up 0.2%. Their 10 out of 10 smart score also comes with positive crowd wisdom, a bullish blogger sentiment, and an increase in hedge fund activity, with hedge funds increasing their holdings by 5.2 million shares last quarter. Cisco is a global food services company that sells, markets, and distributes food and non-food products. They sell their products to restaurants, healthcare and educational facilities, lodging establishments, and other customers who prepare meals away from home. Their family of products also include equipment and supplies for the food service and hospitality industries. They have more than 72,000 colleagues, operate more than 334 distribution facilities, and serve approximately 725,000 customer locations. Cisco has also achieved the prestigious title of Dividend King, having paid out and increased their dividend for over 50 years. Their current quarterly dividend is 51 cents per share for a dividend yield of 2.77%. And they also just shared their latest quarterly earnings report near the end of July on the 30th, where they did come out with an earnings and revenue beat, plus some updated outlooks for their earnings per share growth and distributions. For their third quarter, they reported earnings per share of $1.39, beating expectations by just one cent per share. 
Revenue came in at $20.56 billion, beating by $50 million, and the company saw sales and gross profit increase by 4.2%. For 2025, they see sales growth of 4 to 5% and expect to distribute essentially all free cash flow to shareholders via $1 billion of dividends and $1 billion of share repurchases. Following that quarterly report, we did have a five-star analyst from Deutsche Bank reiterate their buy rating and weigh in. They said despite slightly missing the top line and gross margin expectations, Cisco demonstrated effective cost management strategies that led to favorable results. The company's guidance aligns with the lower end of its long-term projections, signaling a prudent and realistic approach in a challenging market environment. Their stock is currently trading at a discount with price-to-earnings ratio noticeably below its historical average. There are 12 Wall Street analysts that currently have a rating on the Cisco stock, and it does come in as a strong buy with 10 buy ratings and 2 holds. The average price target comes in at above $85 per share, implying an upside potential of over 13%. Looking at those recent ratings down below, our low end is a hold here from Piper Sandler with an upside of 4.5%, and we have a high-end price target from Jefferies at $91 for an upside of over 20%. If you've made it to our third stock today, then this is a reminder to make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Third on our list, we're taking a look at Enterprise Product Partners. They trade under the ticker EPD, currently priced at $28.91. In the past year, they've climbed nearly 17%, and in the last three months are up slightly, about 2%. They score a 10 out of 10 on the tip rank smart score, with increased hedge fund activity, bullish blogger sentiment, and positive technicals and fundamentals. Enterprise Product Partners is a North American midstream company, moving crude oil, natural gas, and natural gas liquids from production fields across the U.S. to storage and terminal facilities on the Gulf Coast. They control pipeline assets that total more than 50,000 miles and stretch from several regions, from the Rocky Mountains and Northern Plains into Texas and the coast. Their network includes natural gas gathering and processing, and the company has storage facilities with capacity for more than 30 million barrels of liquid products. They've been increasing their dividend payment for over 16 years and have the highest dividend yield of the bunch today. Their current quarterly dividend is $0.52 cents per share for a yield of 7.29%. And yes, they also recently reported some quarterly results near the end of July. Now, while they did see transportation volume rise, they actually came out with an earnings and revenue miss. For their Q2, they reported earnings per share of $0.64, cents, which came in $0.02 cents shy of analysts' expectations, while revenue came in at $13.48 billion, missing by $790 million. Management said that even though the second quarter is typically our seasonally weakest quarter, the partnership handled a near-record 12.6 million BDP of equivalent pipeline volumes and 2.2 million BDP of marine terminal volumes, as well as record fee-based natural gas processing. Despite missing those quarterly expectations, we still have plenty of Wall Street analysts reiterating buy ratings, including one five-star analyst from Wells Fargo who also increased their price target. They said that significant growth in the Permian Basin's production has outpaced both the company's and external projections, suggesting a potential increase in future gas volumes. And their export capacity is heavily contracted with further expansion possibilities, with the firm outlining a consistent capital expenditure forecast for the coming years. Overall, EPD has 11 analyst ratings, coming in as a strong buy with 9 buys and 2 holds. And the average price target comes in at $33.70, implying upside potential of over 16.5%. Looking at those ratings down below, we can see several analysts increasing their price targets. On the low end, we do have a hold from Goldman Sachs with an upside of 3.88%. And on the high end, we have Truist Financial at $37 with an upside of 28%. So that is a quick look at three strong buy dividend stocks, all scoring a 10 out of 10 on the tip rank smart score. Let me know your thoughts on these companies in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Please keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, so please make sure you're always doing your own research and due diligence. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you back here next time.